Good Thursday morning. It's interesting on the readings today in a letter to the Romans, it's intensely um, dealing with what I call the virtue and the vices, but, but in religious terms, okay? But what's interesting is in Luke's gospel, he showed the, in Luke's gospel, and he was, he was writing to uh, Gentile Christians, Greek Christians, or the price of discipleship. In the ancient world, it was massive. It is still in this country, in this world, where if one were to become a Christian, it could cost you your family. It could cost you your inheritance, your family. Or in some cases, it could cost you your life. It's simply true. It is the price of discipleship, the cost of discipleship. And it has it here. I would imagine to the Greeks that Saint, uh, Saint, uh, excuse me, the Saint Paul was preaching to, and that Luke is writing about and to, the price of discipleship would have been extreme. See? And I'll just read it to you. Jesus said to his disciples, "I have come to, I have come to set the earth on fire, and how I wish it were already blazing." There is a baptism with which I must be baptized, and how great is my anguish until it's accomplished. The baptism of Christ is Good Friday. It's the crucifixion. I, the only meaning it's got, okay? Do you think I have come to establish peace on the earth? Now, that seems odd, doesn't it? Because you, peace on earth and goodwill to men, okay, and all that. Why does he say it this way? Because he's telling us there's a high cost. There's a high cost to, to discipleship. From now on, he said, no, I tell you, but division, rather division. And he's saying that to a specific audience right, for whom the discipleship will be costly. And here's what he says. From now on, a household of five will be divided, three against two and two against three. This is the unthinkable in the ancient world. <clears throat> Our father will be divided against his son and a son against his father. Even in my lifetime, that's unthinkable, that I would be an op that I would be separated from my father, my father would reject me. That is, even in my culture, unthinkable, absolutely unthinkable. It's the truth. And the next line, a mother against her daughter and a daughter against her mother. These are unthinkable thoughts. This isn't the world of fragmented families and aggregate communities. These are communities. These are families. You're talking about intimately connected families. Families that is the core center of everything that is valuable. The core of everything that is moral and good in life is the family. And he say, "I'm going to split you up." The cost of disciple will cost you the unthinkable. As I am crucified as a criminal, that's the baptism. You may be crucified with me not on a cross, but in the cost of losing your family, the unthinkable. I would think the crucifixion would be less than the, than the loss of family. In an ancient world, it is the unthinkable. It is, even, and frankly, even in my world. When I left home in 19, when I got ordained, I guess it was in 69, yeah, and my mother said, whatever you do, do whatever you want, but never disgrace our family. And my father, in 69, there were all kinds of priests leaving and brothers and nuns. They're going to the newspaper. It was, it, was, it was fashionable to leave with a splash, okay, to leave the priesthood of religious life. My father saw it as embarrassing. So he said, you didn't care what you did, but don't go to the newspaper. So he said, you got to always see the old man. This was one, this was on the way out of the church after ordination in Union City, New Jersey. He said to me in Italian, he said, I'm on the, my real name, Raymond. You can do whatever you want. I'm proud of you. Do whatever you want. But if you make a goddamn fool out of yourself, I'll shoot you. <laughs> you think he was joking? You never dishonor the family. See, and Christ is saying, you may dishonor your family. That is unthinkable. He's not asking you to have that crisis in your life. He's saying the price of, the cost of discipleship may cost, cost you everything that is good in life. Everything. It could cost you your family. The unthinkable. Okay. 
That's why he uses that example. But also probably true. I have to think that, if, I don't know so much about the Greeks, but if there was, if this were the Jewish family, it would precisely cost you your family. They would say the prayers of the dead over you. That's true to this day, I think, the Orthodox. That's the truth. In any kind of religion in which it's, it's um, ethnic as well as it is pious, or whatever the word I want, you switch religions, you have severed yourself from your family and your culture, your identity. That's really true. I mean that too. Some ways I profoundly respect that because you're not an aggregate individual. You're a member of an intimate family of value. A family of value. I said that actually right. When you sever that, the price is astronomical. It's the unthinkable. And the only, stand, the only way you could do that is to believe in who and what is Christ. If you don't, if you think Christ is just a good preacher and a good and interesting prophet, it's, the price is too high for following him. You have to believe in who he is, the Son of God. The Son of God, which takes every ounce of belief you could possibly have. This guy here who's a carpenter is actually the God, is actually God, creator of the universe, the heavens and the earth. Hmm? That takes one Christmas tree kind of faith to believe that. I remember during the crisis years of the 60s in the order when so many guys were leaving, I, I, the only question I asked myself, it was rough. I mean, when the, when your, when your spiritual world, as you understand it within the cultural narrative is shattered and it was shattered by Vatican II and the aftermath of it. Okay, when that is, you don't know who you are anymore. You don't know what to believe. You don't know what to believe. And many of the guys who left, left the faith. Didn't leave the order as much, also, but more radically left the faith. And I remember asking myself, do I believe in Christ? Not that I believe in the priesthood or anything else, the Pope. Do I believe in Christ? Because without Christ, this is meaningless. This whole thing is a joke. Christ has to be who he has said he is. The Son of God incarnate, died and risen, the Easter mystery. You either believe it or you don't. If you make an act of will to believe it, then all the rest follows. If you don't, forget it. Then Christianity looks actually silly. At least ethnic religions like Judaism has a three, 4,000 year history of growth, survival, conflict, and beauty, all wrapped together. At least you can believe in the great story, the narrative. What are you gonna believe in? As a Christian, you don't have, you have the narrative, but you don't have it as a blood narrative. It takes an act of faith to be a Christian, and it may cost you everything. It may cost you everything. You and I are here in the United States, it hasn't cost us anything, or we're right next to anything. It hasn't cost us our families, our lives. Put yourself in some of the troubled places of the world. To be a Christian is to risk your life. And to convert to it may cost you your family, cost you everything is dear to you. If you're an Orthodox Jew and you convert to Christianity, you will lo most likely lose your family. I, I believe that. I'm not positive of that, but I think so. That is the truth. So an act of belief by a Jew, a belief in, a, in Christ, a Christ, becoming a Christian, it's going to cost you, it could cost you everything. And that's exactly what Luke is talking about here, what's in Luke's gospel. The price of discipleship. We think of that as martyrs, which is really true. I think of the Chinese uh, passionists, the Chinese Christians that we, that were part of our community, meaning we, we, mission, we missioned to them. Many of them died, many were killed. That's the price of discipleship. But I wonder how many lost their families because they became Christian. I know it would be true of an Orthodox Jew. I believe it anyway. The price of discipleship.